Hello, I'm Chris Bird, and welcome to Poker Room Review, your guide to live poker rooms all across the world. In each episode, we review a live poker venue, discussing the important things you need to know when planning your next poker destination. For each venue, we review a range of characteristics, including location and access, game options, service and experience, and rake and rewards. We also discuss the rules, quirks, and issues relating to each location. Today, we are in the United Kingdom at the Dust Hill Dawn Poker Room in Nottingham. Nottingham is a university town situated deep in the heart of the English East Midlands. A unique combination of classic feel with old houses and streets mixed with modern tech and a dynamic youthful feel. We went out to this quaint area of rural England to the massive Dust Hill Dawn Poker Room, so let's get to it. Category 1, Location and Access. Dust Hill Dawn is situated in Nottingham, which is about two and a half hours north of London or 40 minutes southeast of Sheffield or an hour out of Birmingham. Nottingham is itself a gorgeous city filled with large parks, walkable neighbourhoods, friendly locals and good festivals and cafes. If you live in the UK and have a car, then getting to Nottingham is just a pleasant rural drive. There's also a large parking lot at the venue, but coming in by train can get pricey. Leaving London's King's Cross Station, a train to Nottingham can cost over US$100 each way. Though surprisingly, Nottingham also has an airport that flies to a large number of places around Europe. With students everywhere, there's a short-term accommodation options frequently available, but these are not located too close to the card room. Given Nottingham's sprawl, the closest we could find was around a 25-minute walk. The card room itself is kind of unique in that it's located in a more industrial area, more so than an entertainment district, though some great restaurants are nearby and a short walk will get you to the bowling alley and cinema. Dust Hill Dawn is huge, with prominent and visible signage. When you first arrive, you have to line up to register, which can take a while, but given the gargantuan size of the venue, it's definitely hard to miss. Overall, it's kind of hard to assess because while Nottingham is isolated, this is mitigated by a number of transport options. The venue is prominent. Still, it's out in an industrial zone and other than some good restaurants offering a pre-game meal, the area doesn't have that much going on, especially since the opening hours of the card room are somewhat restricted. For location and access, three stars. Category two, game options. In this regard, Dust Hill Dawn is an iconic draw. Famous for its tournaments, this large venue easily attracts over 180 entrants an hour into daily events. Cash games are also offered at multiple stake levels with Hold'em at 1-1, 1-2, 2-5, and PLO cash games at 1-1, 2-2, and 5-5, noting these are all British pounds, so play bigger than dollars. Stakes above 1-1 have a decent maximum buy-in cap, and you can buy in for half the maximum stack size if it's larger than that. As for the tournaments, buy-ins range from around £40 up to several hundred for multi-day events. The venue is so large with plenty of tables and staff, which really pays dividends with its variety, basically something to suit every taste. The main drawback is that opening hours are kind of unpredictable, tracking mostly with when tournaments commence. During the week, it generally won't open its doors until about 7pm, and this will hold for weekends too unless there's a tournament on. In short, Dust Till Dawn is not really a place you can just turn up any hour of the day and see what's available. Rather, you should hop online beforehand, check out the timetable, and plan your trip accordingly. At the end of the day, it's not a huge problem, especially if you're primarily a tournament player which has to track these things anyway. But the fact that the venue hours are limited, and indeed not even standardized, can get a little irksome. However, with boasting such a large player pool, plenty of staff, many tables running, Overall, Dust Hill Dawn is able to cater to your taste, even with the limited hours. For game options, four stars. Three, service and experience. Dust Hill Dawn is mostly great, but with one major, and I mean major, drawback, which I'll come to. But at first, there's a lot to commend it. As mentioned, the venue is large, spacious, modern, aesthetic, and comfortable. Even with many players, it doesn't feel cramped or overly claustrophobic. 
In terms of layout and design, one really gets the sense that the proprietors really do love their poker experience. Seats and tables are comfortable, although not all chairs are the same quality and some do need replacing. There's plenty of parking, chips are clean and of good quality, and there's a giant sports projector for added entertainment. Staff are professional, friendly and chatty, massages are available, and there was one really nice touch you'll appreciate in terms of hygiene with deodorant and mouthwash complimentary in the men's bathroom. There are no shuffling machines, which slows things down a bit, and dealers have their own chip trays, much like Rosvedov. Players are friendly and festive, with tournaments in particular attracting a casual atmosphere. On the flip side, while I'm definitely no gender warrior when it comes to poker, the female uniforms are pretty revealing, which can put some people off. The real drawback though, is that everything, and I mean everything, is chargeable, and prices are an absolute rot. Want a hot water with a crappy tea bag? That's five US dollars, thanks. The menu options are excellent, but the food is also expensive. So my recommendation is to drive there and leave food in the car with a thermostat of hot coffee. That said, everyone is genuinely nice and after each session, the reception even organized me a cab rather than me having to get one myself. Overall, with the enormous size, modern sleek design and professional staff, it's super comfortable. I just wish you weren't being bled dry. Three stars. Four, rake and rewards. For cash games specifically, rake is bad, albeit only at the lowest stakes. Their 1-1 one -one games are raked at 10% with a six big blind cap, which is just beyond the pale. 1-2 is also raked at 10%, but at three big blind cap. Things get a lot better at 2-5 Hold'em and 2-2 PLO, which is raked at 5% with a 15 pound cap. Noting though that pounds are worth a fair bit more than dollars, but this isn't the full story. Whenever there is a promotion run for cash games, extra rake will be taken for that promotion. Note there are no standard jackpots either, no bad beats, no royal flush. So if you're a high stakes cash game player, the rake is all right. But for the casual person who just busted out of the local tournament and wanna to play some cash, all the money is just disappearing off the table, including yours. Things do seem a lot better when it comes to tournaments, however, where rake seems more standard and reasonable with the large number of entrants building up some impressive prize pools. The promotions they do have can be fun and varied. For example, while I was there, you received a raffle ticket for every 30 minutes at the cash table from 2 p.m. onwards with a draw at midnight for decent cash prizes. Various other promotions are equally attractive. But overall, if you just go there for tournaments or high stakes cash games, Dust Till Dawn is fine. But for anything else, you'll be exsanguinated. Combine the high rake with the extra taken for promotions, dealer and waitress tips, and the fact that literally everything is payable and overpriced, it feels greedy. One and a half stars. Rules and quacks. Honestly, in terms of actual poker rules, Dust Hill Dawn is completely standard, probably more so than any place that we have reviewed. An undergun straddle is permitted for any stake level above 1-1, one, one, where it's not allowed. Players in cash games can agree to run it twice, and otherwise you won't find anything else really unusual. Membership cards are required whenever cashing in or out, so be sure to have that with you, but otherwise there are a few surprises. For Dust Hill Dawn, it feels like there's a right way to do this. A must-see during major poker festivals when huge open field tournaments are running and there's plenty of buzz. As a truly gargantuan venue in the middle of England, it really feels set up for these epic series events. Add to this the fact that you can fly in directly, cheaply from across Europe, you'll definitely want to consider this location both for poker and as an entry point into the UK holiday. Even though rake and house beverages are rapacious in terms of cost, and the working hours could definitely be expanded, you won't regret your time here. Overall, three stars. That said, if they just made non-alcoholic drinks complimentary and expanded the opening hour times and standardized them, it would easily be a four star venue. Four and a half if it came with a bad beat jackpot that they funded out of their own house. I'm saying this specifically because so few venues are able to achieve such a jump in score with some basic shifts that don't require any new investment. But I digress. 
We review new poker rooms regularly. So if you found value in this content, please hit the like and subscribe buttons because that's the only way YouTube knows that's the case. Also, please, if you have access to any Facebook groups or poker forums, please consider sharing this video because getting more views is the only way we can make more content. In the meantime, have you been to Dust Till Dawn in Nottingham? If so, what did you think? Is there any recommendations I've missed or you would like to include? I'm sure everyone would appreciate it down below. If you want to, you can check out more reviews right now. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.